Hi, I'm Miles Atkins, Mayor with the Town of Mooresville. Suicide is a national crisis and it is happening here. Survivors of suicide loss struggle with years of trauma and grief. It is my honor to introduce Mooresville Commissioner Tommy DeWeese and Eagle Scout candidate Sarah Cook, who will share her story with you. Hi, I'm Tommy DeWeese, the newly elected Ward 3 Commissioner for the Town of Mooresville. Nine years ago, my wife and I moved here to Mooresville, and I've been heavily involved in scouting before we moved here and since. I recently started a girl troop uh, at the First Presbyterian Church, and I'm very excited today to have one of my scouts who's working on an Eagle project that I'm so honored that we can be share with you today. This is Sarah Cook. She is my senior patrol leader, which means she runs the troop. Uh, and she's also an Eagle Scout candidate. Uh, Sarah, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Sarah. I am a student at Pine Lake Prep and I'm going to be a sophomore this year. I've been in Mooresville as long as I can remember and I'm currently a Life Scout. As you approach your Eagle project, this is the kind of the culmination of all of your activities in scouting and getting you ready to become an Eagle Scout. And that in itself is challenging, but now you've chosen a very challenging subject for your Eagle project. Why don't you tell us a little bit about why you chose that subject? So I chose suicide prevention because I personally have been affected by an attempted suicide. Um, my father attempted when I was in, I believe sixth grade and he he lost like he doesn't have as much memory as he had and he's not really the same person and so with that i've had to deal with like grieving someone who's still alive and i've had to go through all these different steps and i feel like if i can make anyone feel any less alone by doing my eagle project on a hard topic like this then i should do that so as you were explaining that, uh, I was very moved by uh, some of your words there. And what I'd like for you to do, if you can, is talk about how did this impact you personally uh, and what, what did it take you through and maybe even some of your family members. What, what's this been like for you? I, I think that mainly it was a lot of figuring out how to grieve. It was a lot. I was really angry like really, really angry for a very long time because I couldn't process it. And I mean, anger is kind of a go-to emotion if I can't deal with stuff. And I was just, I blamed myself or I couldn't figure out why, or it was just a lot. And I think that it impacted everyone in my family um, in very different ways. I have little siblings that live with my dad and I'm worried about them growing up having a father but not exactly having a dad. And so it's just, it's a very weird dynamic now and I think that it's important to remember that like your actions affect like everybody else and how they are in life. So Sarah, I've heard uh, your testimony here and, and it's really really great. I do have another question for you though. What is the message you would really like to get out to people and, and how do you plan on going about making sure that that happens? So I actually have two messages that I'm very interested in and my first one is that if you are contemplating or have attempted suicide, there are resources for you. And my main goal is to try to get those resources out. But my other point that I'm trying to make is that for survivors of suicide loss, there are resources for you as well. And I'm trying to make that known because when I was going through um, the loss of my father, sort of in a way, um, I really wish that I had known that there were those resources there. So Sarah, I want to thank you very much. Uh, what you've done is very courageous um, and I want to um, commend you for doing that and also to encourage you to keep going forward and, and, and working with this particular issue, which I know you will. And so again, thank you so very much for sharing your personal experience with us. 
We all know there are many factors that compound together for suicidal thoughts to occur. If you are in need of any other resources or assistance, we encourage you to visit nc211.org for a database of human service resources. As you've heard repeatedly today, suicide prevention is a priority to be taken seriously throughout our community. Let us help by connecting you with resources you need. If this is not an immediate need, I encourage you to visit mooresvilleresources.org for a listing of all the local suicide prevention services and a list of training opportunities.